What is going on YouTube fam? I usually don't do this. This is the second upload that will be for this week. That's two in one week. That's pretty good. That's probably a record. So I just got a really good email and I thought I would address it straight away so I didn't forget. I have to stop saying um, dude. Like seriously, when I edit these videos, it's just me editing out all the ums and that's it. I say everything else semi-decent and then it's like 500 ums that I have to cut out every second. So anyway, top five supplements. They said, what were the top five supplements that I could recommend for a healthy pouch? And this is just my personal opinion, as always. So the top five supplements that I could recommend, this isn't in any particular order. I was thinking about putting it in a particular order, but it's just too hard. They're all in their own way. Um, um, they're all in their own way as important as each other. So the first one on my list was uh, Hydrolyte, which is like, it's a hydration supplement. With a pouch, and especially without a colon, I'm pretty sure the way that a colon works in some sense is that it absorbs fluid and disperses that fluid so you stay hydrated. I'm not too sure, I'm kind of just talking shit right now. But um, that's just what I got told by my, by my uh, surgeon. So they said when I leave, especially with my colostomy bag, when I'm like freshly out of my surgery, smash Hydrolyte. And I've just continued to do so. And when I don't take Hydrolyte in summer, especially when I sweat a lot and surf a lot and do everything that I do, all the sports and just general sweat because it's hot in Australia, I get cramps. But that rarely ever happens. Just take a couple of Hydrolytes. I take like one or two tablets um, in a drink twice a week and I drink a shitload of water as is. So it's not a huge deal, but Hydrolyte are definitely something you need to do. And if you're not taking Hydrolyte, Powerade and all that kind of shit has a lot of a lot of water in it, a lot of um, sugar. So I don't drink that, and yeah, I kind of just stick to drinking lots of water and lots of uh, hydrolyte in the summer when I need it. So hydrolyte's number one. Curcumins, which I've spoken about curcumins before, they're a anti-inflammatory supplement, and basically I take two of those a day. They're like the really strong, high strength ones. So I actually went to a dietitian and they recommended that I take curcumins. Look up all the benefits, they're an anti-inflammatory and they're great. And ever since I've taken them, it's been probably like five years now. I cook a lot with turmeric as I've um, noted on here before, but yeah, curcumins, I smash one tablet in the morning, one tablet at night, goes into my pouch. And the theory behind it is that it's an anti-inflammatory. So, and it's really good for your joints. It's really good for everything else. Third one would be probiotics. So I take a dairy-free probiotic and it's basically supposed to kill the bad bacteria in your gut and promote like healthy bacteria growth. So once again, you might have to do your own research. I did all the research back in the day. I'm not gonna re-research it, but I did all the research back in the day. I was recommended this as well by uh, my doctor. You keep it in the fridge. I take one a day for 30 days and then I give it three months break. After three months, there's enough bad bacteria in there. I do another course and I have no side effects, a little bit of gas for the first two days. And I think that's supposed to be like the, like the bad bacteria kind of breaking down, but I've never had pouchitis, knock on wood. And I've never really had any drums with my pouch that I haven't been able to figure out myself. And I really kind of believe that the Probiotics had like a um, big part to play in that. So probiotics, will highly recommend them. Obviously do the research for yourself, but yeah, probiotics. Metamucil, I talk about that, like I swear by that stuff. And yeah, I don't really need to go into why I take Metamucil. Everyone knows there's two or three videos on it. I love that stuff. So that's number four. Number five is Imodium. And that I don't take that anymore. Um, unless I need to. God, I said, um, again, come on. I need a counter up the top that just says how many times I say that. So yeah, Imodium. I used to take, like I think when I first had my uh, reversal and I got my pouch, they put me on eight, seven or eight Imodiums a day, spread out over the course of a the day. Then so I slowly knocked it back. And over the last few years, it's been like one a day. And then recently, the last probably 12 to 18 months, I've tried to like wean it out. So now I take Imodium only if I have like that every like three months, maybe I'll get diarrhea just like randomly because I've probably done something. 
I don't know, drank too much beer and not had enough solid food or something like that. But um, yeah, if I really desperately need to take a modium, I'll just take one and I'm good to go. But generally now, if I take more than one or two in a week, I will, my stool will be too thick and then it's hard to come out because it's just so thick. So yeah, that's my top five. I've got Hydrolyte for hydration, curcumins for the anti-inflammatory benefits, probiotics for healthy promotion of um, good bacteria in the gut, Metamucil, love that shit, and Imodium is super handy if you need to take it and you've got the bum wings. <laughs> and I thought I would just chuck in a few worthy mentions. The Panthem cream, so if you do get the bum wings, and you would all know that you get butt burn and your ass stings and it is so uncomfortable. So Bepanthin cream is just a cream that you put on your finger, you rub that on your butt and it goes away. It's kind of got like, I think it has, you can get ones with like a numbing cream in it, but mine's just like the $4 one that you get from the chemist and chuck that on your ass and it really helps. That's really good stuff. And I still use that like today all the time. And I also still use another worthy mention, wet wipes. Uh, wet wipes are great. So instead of toilet paper, I use wet wipes and they, they're lifesavers. So they, they avoid the butt burn and they, they kind of like prolong a healthy butthole. <laughs> it's as weird as that sounds. If you use toilet paper too much, if you go into the toilet like five, six, seven times a day, like some people do, toilet paper will just tear that shit up like sandpaper. So wet wipes, avoid that. That's what I meant. <laughs> And a bidet, I was gonna ask everyone, I've never used a bidet, a bidet. Uh, yeah, if you wanna comment down below, I know lots of people use them, let me know if they're worth giving a shot, cause I'll try that out and um, do give it like a review, give a bidet a review, cool. Um, don't forget, it helps me a lot heaps. Please like and subscribe. The more people that I get to like my videos and subscribe to my videos, the more awareness I can kind of spread and share and my views and my subscribes when they go up so does my ranking on youtube so that more people can click on my videos and check them out um awesome peace